the theater today, we're going to shoot interior architecture images. And because of the multiple light sources we're dealing with, I'm going to show you how to use an external HDR process to accomplish perfectly exposed photographs. Wow. I shot architecture before, but never with a lens this wide. Aren't you worried about the distortion? No, I'm not nervous, but I think what we should do is find an angle, start shooting, and you'll see. The main reason that I choose the AF-S Nikkor 14-24 f2.8G ED is because unlike a fisheye lens that distorts and curves the edges of the frame, this lens does an incredible job of keeping those lines straight. So I think we'd set up here and uh, give it a try. I also want to point out what this lens has going on inside. The extra low dispersion elements and aspherical lenses reduce chromatic aberration and other lens distortions. This ensures sharpness even at the furthest edges of our photograph. Anytime I get a brief for interior architectural photography, this is literally my go-to lens. At 14 millimeters, it's really amazing how wide the field of view is with minimal distortion. I've been shooting with this lens for years, and I'm still amazed at how sharp it is edge to edge. Now, how do we properly expose for this shot? Yeah, we're in a tricky lighting environment, so we're going to use something called a multi-exposure HDR or high dynamic range. What that does, it takes up to nine exposures and blends them together to create this sort of impossible image. And it's really cool because what it does is it helps keep the dark areas from underexposing and the bright areas from overexposing. So are we going to do normal bracketing for this shot? We're going to use two techniques. Um, first of all, I'm going to set the automatic timer on the camera. And secondly, I'm going to set the bracketing to nine photographs. I'm going to go into the bracketing menu and set the exposure compensation value to one third of a stop. And then by pressing the shutter just once, the camera will shoot nine uh, exposures for me in complete succession. That means I don't have to touch the camera again, which reduces the opportunity for camera shake when we're shooting at narrow aperture of f11 and long exposures. So you can see here the HDR image has allowed us to bring out the detail in the shadows without blowing out the highlights. Thank you. 